Hi everybody! Welcome back to more Dragon Quest Nine. How you doing, everybody? I hope you're well. Uh, we're doing some post-game stuff today. Well, we're unlocking it anyway because there's um quite a bit of post-game stuff to do in this game. So uh, buckle in, kids. All right, but to unlock it, we gotta jump through a bunch of hoops first. First hoop would be you need to have. I don't know if you have to have your main character. A class that can equip a wand or not, but I'm just gonna do it on Grim anyway. Uh, we're gonna change his vocation to a class that can equip a wand because we're gonna need a wand in the future. Okay, <laughs> okay. So I chose Paladin because it's probably the less, the least squishy of the other classes. Oh, by the way, you can change vocation with Jack Snack if you have a uh, sage in your party. So that's another reason to get a sage. They're pretty good. Uh, anyway, back to the thing we're doing. Now, after you do that, the whole class changey thing, we gotta do some shopping after this. And, uh, if you're in Stornway, you may notice there's some new shops that have opened up since, uh, you beat the game. I eat this one with a silver shield. You should probably get a silver shield if you want to unlock the post game. But I had one already because I'm super cool with alchemy and I made one like a long time ago so it's all good don't need to buy one they're a little pricey too you may want to think about making one. You can make one with a white knight shield some mithril and something else mirror stone i think it's mirror stone but i think it's those three things the quantities i have no idea but anyway next stop bloomingdale here you can get the Water Mall Wand. This is the wand in question that you want to equip for this next part coming up. If you're like, Grim, what is this next part coming up? Listen, we'll get to it, all right? Patience, friend. We'll get to it, all right? Just, just hold up, all right? Just trust in Grim. Okay, cool. Next item is an up over. All these things you can make in the alchemy pot, by the way. Uh, not just the silver shield, but uh, the other two items are pretty relatively cheap I think the watermelon ones the cheapest thing you can get how much was it like 4700 gold not bad at all not bad at all and uh we're gonna need a flowing dress after this that is correct Grim is going to be prancing about in a dress this episode not IRL that's just Wednesdays <laughs> that's tomorrow by the way <laughs> um uh, that's funny. I just dated this episode kind of not really anyway flowing dress right there 1800 big ones Um, I, I think it's kind of a pain in the ass making the alchemy pot so you might be better off just buying it So there you go now Grim is a pretty pretty princess with his wand and his beautiful dress and his lovely shield and his gimp mask Look at that gimp mask <laughs> No, that was a thug's mask uh, I didn't show the, that on screen, but you can get that in that one cave that went to on that adventure to Batsurig. You remember Batsurig with the kid that was named Batsurig and the dad that was named Batkan and then there was a lady who's, don't even ask me her name, it was like Sarantasral, Sarantasral, right? I don't even know. And then when she turned to a bad guy, it was her name backwards. Oh, hi, Jonah. What's up? Oh, you're, you're, you're the traveler that helped me out before, aren't you? I sure am. I knew I recognized you. I feel like I haven't seen you for ages, though. I'm out fishing most days now with the rest of them. You know, I'm pretty useless. I don't mind admitting, but I am learning. As it happens, there's something's been bothering me. Seeing as you're here, uh, perhaps yeah, I could ask you. When we were out fishing the other day, I saw a huge great shadow in the water. It was a real leviathan, I'm sure of it. And I want to see him properly so bad, like I'm all fidgety. So I was thinking maybe uh, maybe you could have a few words with the people around here and uh, see if you can't find out a way to call him. Oh, uh, okay, sure, why not? You want to talk to a whale? That's cool. Oh, thank you. I'm busy fishing now. I haven't got the time, see? There's no one else I can ask. There's an old tale by here about a spirit medium who was able to summon Leviathan. But that old lady passed away years back. Still, I'm sure there must be some clues left in the village about how she did it. 
I did have a bit of uh, uh, look myself, but it was pretty pointless. I, I couldn't find a thing, but you'll have much better luck, I'm sure. Okay, if you say so, Jonah. If you've forgotten about Jonah, we helped her out a while back. Her dad turned into a fish, and we beat up her dad. <laughs> but it was a whole thing, all right? I'm not going to get into it, but yeah. If you want to get into it, just watch the episode, man. I can't remember which episode it was. Anyway, uh, all you got to do is wait till nightfall. <laughs> and because the game's a dick, they decided to make it so you can't sleep at the inn. Uh, they might. I don't know. Anyway, through the magic of editing, it is now nightfall. And oh my god, a ghost! I bet she knows stuff. I'm no longer amongst the living, so there's nothing you can gain from talking to me. Wouldn't you agree? No. You are looking for Leviathan Serenader. Jonah wants to know how to summon Leviathan? Well, now, I suppose that would be me. I did use to perform the ritual to give thanks to him, but I never actually saw him mind. Still, the outfit I wore was one that's always been worn for the ritual. Loves it, Leviathan does, apparently. A waterball wand, a flowered dress, and a silver shield it was. All I can tell you is that you might attract Leviathan's attention if you wear the same as I did. Get all the gear on and go somewhere with a good view of the sea. Call out to him, and you never know, he might just call back. Okay, cool. Uh, that's kind of a weird getup to get a fish's attention. You want to know what to wear to get my attention? Um, not much. <laughs> anyway, let's use the magic of editing to teleport places randomly because I didn't know what to do after this. <laughs> I mean, I totally meant to do that. Hi, Jonah. I figured out stuff. Oh, hello. Have you found out something about how to summon Leviathan? I sure have. He likes kinky stuff. He likes dress up. So you figured it out, have you? There's beautiful. What do I have to do then? Well, uh, dress up, like I said. A watermelon wand, a flown dress, and a silver shield, eh? And I have to put them all on, like? That's right. But where am I going to get my hands on expensive kit like that, huh? I hate to do this to you, but can I ask you to help me out again? I, I don't have much to give you, but I'd be ever so grateful I would. Uh, sure thing. I'll help you out, being that I already have all the gear already. I'll be waiting for you up at the mayor's private beach. I reckon that's the best place to call him from, don't you think? I burped a little. I am deadly sorry. That just broke your immersion, I'm sure. And we're all about immersion on the Green Boost Channel. I actually have been trying to, like, get more immersive with the whole, uh, um, story bits of... RPG games. Anyway, through the magic of editing, holy shit, we're at the beach. Wow. Magical editing power is so great. Hi, Jonah. Oh, you're back. Did you get the things I needed? The watermelon one, the flowing dress, and the silver shield? Sure did. Got them quipped up and everything. You did? Oh, you did. They're smashing. Thank you ever so much. Yeah, no props, girl. Well, then, let's see if we can't summon old Leviathan, shall we? I think that's a capital idea, my good lady. Oh, mighty Leviathan, Lord of the Depths. If you're there, please show yourself to us, your humble servants. Jonah's prayer floats out across the ocean, carried by the ocean breeze. Oh, hi. Well, that was easy. <laughs> hi, Leviathan. What's up? L Leviathan? Roar. Oh dear, uh, he doesn't look so friendly as he does normally. I, I think we might be in a bit of a spot of trouble here, like. I think we might be as well, Jonah. Roar. Ah. Oh, he's gonna fight us. Oh man. Alright, you remember the first time we fought this guy? Remember that? Way back when? Way back in the before time? He's a touch harder this time. <laughs> Just a touch. This is sort of like the, uh... I don't want to say necessarily a gear check, level check, skill check, boss. But if you can't beat this guy, you're probably not good enough for the post game. That's all I'm going to say. 
he's decently tough. Uh, he does uh, a few multi-target abilities. And, uh... Yeah. He can, he can do massive damage to people on occasion. Also, remember to equip a normal weapon for whoever's wearing the whole Leviathan get kinky get up. <laughs> um, Cause you can do that mid combat. Uh, Grim is terrible with wands. He actually has no skills with wands. So I gave him his ax back, his trusty ax. Oh God, owie, owie, owie. <laughs> so another good idea, advice I did not take myself, is uh, whoever is in the whole Leviathan kink get up, uh, probably move him to the back row. I never mentioned this in the game, did I? There's actually rows in this game. Like, whoever's in the front row will usually receive more of the attacks in the back row. I usually keep Grim and 18 in the front row because, well, they can take some damage, you know. 18 specifically. I should probably just have 18 in the front row, but uh, Grim, Grim can take it. He can take the heat. Uh... Normally he can when he's a gladiator. When he's a paladin, level 20 paladin, in a frilly dress, he can't quite take the heat as much. So, <laughs> advice, move him to the back row. <laughs> this, this is good advice. I think you can do that in made combat. I'm not actually sure. I've never actually tried it. You know, first time I played this game, I didn't even know about the rows. Everyone was in the front row the whole time. And I was like, is there a way to tank in this game? I don't even know if there's a way to tank in this game. There is. There actually is. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway, uh, did, have I talked strategy yet? I don't know. Um, he doesn't do disruptive waves, so get all your buffs up. And, uh, yeah, you should be all right. Get oomph and, uh, probably should cast cub off twice if you have cub off. If you don't, I pity you. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is how it is, baby. I I had to break you. Oh, that tidal wave move sucks too. I don't think you can get any resistances to that move. I don't think is is it technically frost? I don't think it's technically frost. So there's like no resistances you can have to that move. You just have to eat it. It sucks. So uh, another piece of advice: have someone that knows multi heal, hustle dance, or have an item like a. Well, you can't have a Sage's Stone at this point of the game. Maybe the Charon's Bow, which you can get from the Secret Shop in Dower Bridge. Maybe have that available and just use that for multi-target healing. Uh, that's probably your best bet if you don't have Hustle Dance or Multi-Heal at this point. Yeah, just pick up that bow. It's worth it, man. It has saved my, it saved my bacon when I first played this game so many times. So many freaking times. Definitely. Owie! Oh! Dick! You killed Grim! Oh! Thank you for avenging Grim Frog, your your capital amphibian buddy. Damn it! What an asshole! On the last round too. That freaking always happens with these post-game bosses. They pick someone out and they just wreck them in the last round. That constantly happens. I swear. I don't know why it happens. There's some sort of like code in the game. It's just like we're gonna fuck you up in the last round, cause haha, -ha, eat a dick. Ah, uh, uh, thank you ever so much. I don't know what I'd have done if you hadn't been here. But why would Leviathan... Oh shit, he's still alive. And so is Grim, apparently. How does this work? Hmm? Whatever am I doing here? There I was having a lovely sleep, and now I am like a fish out of water. Oh, the little joke, you see. See, I'm a whale. L Leviathan? Well, yes, that's me. I'm Leviathan! I'm sorry if I did anything untoward. I was in a bit of a daze, you see. Aww. I was swimming along, minding my own business. And then I remember being attracted by something and going off to have a little look at what it might be. Oh, I'm, I'm ever so sorry. I, I saw a big shadow in the sea up there and I, I thought it might be yours, so I summoned you, you see. Oh, that explains it. That's rather lucky, actually. I was looking for you anyway. Uh, really? But why ever would you be looking for me? Let me see. Oh, yes. Here we go. Is that precious ambergris? I thought you might like to have this. 
That's whale barf, if you don't know what it is. It's used in perfumes. It's very valuable. This is... why it's a charm. One of those fishermen's talisman thingies. Yes, and I believe this particular one belonged to your father. He regretted to the very end that he was never able to pass it on to you. I couldn't bear to see his wish go unfulfilled, so I set out to find you, and now I've passed it on at last. Y you're sure? It was Dad? Well, I, I don't know how to thank you. Oh, Dad. Right, well, I'll be heading back to the depths, if you don't mind. I'll see you later. Farewell, Drylanders. Oh, yeah. And, uh, have some more ambergris. Here you go. Gross. I can't believe Leviathan would go to all that trouble for my sake. Beggars believe it does. Yeah, it does. Oh, Jesus, you're back. You get, you're gonna give us more ambergris. I, thanks, I guess. Hello again. Sorry, there was something else that completely slipped my mind. More ambergris? Nah, that looked like a fig. I found this too. It seems rather important. So I thought you might accept it by way of apology for my terrible behavior. This behavior is filled with a U, which makes it extra bad. I really am most terribly sorry. I hope you can forgive me. Anyway, I'll be on my way again. Ta ta! Okay, are, are you really leaving this time? Okay, I think you really left this time. Alright. Not gonna pop back in? The, the double goodbye? You're gonna turn into a triple? You're going triple double? No? Okay. But this is. It's that golden fruit from before. Uh, look! What's it doing turning up by here? It's not like I need it anyway, is it? Here, it's all yours. Ah, thanks. What the shit am I gonna do with this? Well, last time I ate one of these, I turned mortal. Then I lost all my best friends. Maybe I can eat it again and lose more friends! <laughs> that seems to be the theme anyway. Hmm. Or turn to a monster. That's also a theme that goes on. Man, these figs are really uh, hit or miss, I gotta tell ya. When Dad ate it, his dying prayers were answered, weren't they? And you're looking ever so down at the moment. So lonely like. You look just like I did back when I lost Dad. Well, if there's someone you've lost, maybe you should eat it and make a wish. Like, y you never know what might happen. I've got Dad's talisman by here. There's nothing more I need to make me happy. Ah, there's a beautiful. Anyway, I'm sure you don't want me hanging around while you're praying and all. But I'll get out of your way. Bye for now. Yeah, see ya, Jonah. It was good seeing you again. Yeah, have fun. All right. Well, let's get to Nauman, I guess. Maybe it will answer my prayer of getting money and bitches. The fig gives off a soft and fighting glow. Yep, let's do it. Nom, 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 nom. Here comes money and bitches. Oh, damn it, it's just Stella. I am. Hello? Have you got a cloth in your ear or something? Can you hear me? No, Stella, I cannot hear you. Don't go playing silly billies with me. I'm nowhere near as grinning as stupid looking. I know you can see me. Yay, welcome back. It's good to see you see me. Yeah, right. <laughs> Is it weird welcoming you back? You haven't really been anywhere. Bah, who flapping cares? I'm just glad you're back with us. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I've been flapping at your heels ever since you became mortal, and you haven't so much as fluttered an eyelid. Wait, you've been stalking me? Oh, yeah! About that thing I was trying to tell you when we left. I just wanted to say... What were you saying? It wasn't important at all. I might tell you some other time if we're bored or something. Oh, you tease, Stella. Anyway, if you can see me, then you can see the star flight. And you can't flapping miss all fat guts. You'd better go pay him your respects. Come on, up on the star flight express. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right, it's kind of nice to see these two again. I'm glad they're back. Welcome, Grim. Long time no see. Yeah, good to see you again, Sterling. So you ate the fig and wished to see me ugly old mug again, did ya? 
Ha! It's enough to make an old man cry. Dream on! As if he'd want to see you again. It's clear day long as <laughs> painting for my fantabulous face, not yours! Well, I ain't bothered either way. Long as I'll get a thick grim again, I'm happy. Hey, Celestia sent you down here to watch over the mortals, did she? Yeah, she did. Well, I was thinking, maybe I should help you take charge of the Starflight. Help you out with your work and all that, you know? Shut up! Are you yanking poor Grim's leg? That's not very nice, you know. I ain't yanking nothing. I'm serious. There's some proper villains on now, deep down in all them grottos. They need salt now. If you really want to protect the mortals, you'll have to track down as many treasure maps as you can and get the grotto grinding. That's the word from the top brass, anyway. And since that's what you're gonna be doing, I thought we might as well put the Starflight to good use helping you out and all. Yeah, this. It's me whistle. It's for calling up the Starflight. Ah, sweet. Grim receives Sterling's whistle. Very cool. Just give it a puff anyway in the mortal will. And the Starflight will show up. Don't need none of them blue trays or nothing. And once you're aboard, you'll need to come over here and use this. That'll give you control, and once you've got that, this is up to you, sunshine. The world's your oyster. Neat. But, Vakas, what about me? Are you relieving me of my duties or something? Vakas a sack? Not likely. You're gonna be on show Grim here the ropes, ain't ya? Like a driven instructor sort of thing. Ah, uh, so I gotta boss Grim around. Stellar! Fair enough, Vakas. I won't let you down gently. Right then, Sunshine. This is where your next adventure begins. It's a big old world out there, full of stuff you never even dreamed of. Now get out there and get exploring, eh? Careful idea, my good man. <laughs> Let's just get exploring. Grim gains control of the Starflight Express. We can now fly anywhere-ish we want in the world. For the most part, everywhere. Right? I think we can go everywhere. Yeah. Hey, Grim, get go. Quit talking to me, will ya? Fine. Jeez, I'm sorry, Sterling. All right, let's test this out. See how it works. All right, yeah, here we go. We are now a train flying in the sky. Don't question the logic of it. Just roll with it. Anyway, that's it.